Hey everybody, um, it's Kira, and I'm making a video today because I um, saw that we have a uh, little project going on that's called the Trevor Project, and it's for, um, it gets, it's called, it gets better, <laughs> but I figured I'd make a video because um, they want to know people's stories, so um, if there's any kids out there that are being abused or harassed or bullied um, because they're gay, honey, it's nothing. <laughs> These people that are bullying you are not going to be there forever. I mean, you're going to be in, you're, say you're in 8th grade, and you go in ninth grade in a different school. Those people aren't going to be there. They're not going to be there to sit there and ridicule you because you're gay. It's not going to happen. <laughs> um, I came out when I was in 3rd grade, and I was 10 or 11, 9 or 10 maybe and um I had my friend and her name was Natalie and she goes wait what you're not it's not okay to be gay Kira I was just like what, what do you mean gay I didn't even know what gay was I just didn't I just knew that I didn't like guys and um that was in Pennsylvania so you know <laughs> even though there's a lot of gay clubs and stuff in Pennsylvania it's not a gay friendly pl place where I was living and, um, she flipped out, but we're still friends, because I told her, I was just like, if you want to be my friend, because she was one of my best friends, and it's like, if your friends love you before you came out, and they don't love you after, they're not real friends. If they say, you know what, this is going to get some time, this is going to, I'm going to have to have time to get used to this, but this is okay. You know, those are your real friends. Those are the people that you want to stick around. And they, and they will. Because you don't have to worry about hanging on to them. Because those are true friends. Um, and if your parents, your aunts, your uncles, your brothers, your sisters, your grandparents, you know, if, if they don't accept you, you just need to tell them, this is me. I know who I am. You, you didn't just, like, wake up one day and say, I want to suck penis. It didn't happen. <laughs> it, maybe one day you looked at a guy, and then you were like, hmm. And then you looked at a girl, and you were like, whoa. You know? If you're a lesbian. Um, but I came out to my friend Natalie, and we are still good friends. Um, yeah. So, but I think that as long as you're happy, everybody else will be happy. I mean, I'm happy with myself. And I'm the most popular kid in my school right now. <laughs> like, I'm in, I was in seventh grade last year, and I knew everybody, and everybody knew me. You know, well, I didn't know everybody because I, I wasn't introduced, but I, I was <laughs> walking down the hallway one day, and this kid just came up, and like, he goes, <laughs> and I remember he had, a, a voice that kind of freaked me out and kind of like made me go I want to be your friend at the same time and um, he goes when I first saw you I thought you were a really hot guy but then I noticed that you were a lesbian <gasps> I was just like okay I was just like well thanks I think and he he goes and he gives me he takes off his wristband and he goes you want this rainbows for gay and I was just like you're so weird and his name's Austin and he's one of my best friends and he's gay and I can't imagine my life without him right now because he's just an amazing person and I'm so lucky to have him as my as my best friend but <laughs> like you just notice how when you love yourself when you're happy with what you're doing because I'm happy. I'm happy that I get to be who I am. I'm happy that I can I can go to school and be like, yeah, I'm a lesbian. Do you have a problem with it? You know, I'm happy that I can do that. And it's funny when you walk up to someone and they just give you a really big hug and they're like, thank you. And you're like, what? What did I do? And then you figure out a couple of days later that they had just came out to their parents. 
and they were going through a really tough time and you being the role model actually like made them feel better about themselves and gave them to, and gave them the courage to do that but when you think about it at the end of the day you're the only person that you have i mean your family they're not going to be there forever i mean people die people pass away you know if your parents don't like the way you are you need to tell them this is who i am i know who i am this is me i'm I'm me, you know, <laughs> like, just tell them that this is the way that you're happy, and if they love you, then if you're happy, they're happy, um, but at the end of the day, when you go to bed, it's only you, and you're the one that makes the decisions, you're the one that, like, calls the shots, you know, <laughs> you're the one that goes to sleep and says, wow, I'm happy being a gay person, you know? <laughs> like, you should be happy being gay because gay means happy. Um, but just be happy with who you are. Be happy with what's going on in your life. Um, make the right decisions. Don't... If you're having suicide thoughts, forget about them. You don't want to die. I mean, no matter <laughs> what you're going through, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter who's teasing you, no matter what they say, if they call you fag, just be like, yeah. So... Fag isn't a bad word. Fag, 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 fag. I call Austin a fag all the time, and he calls me a dyke. So, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's uh, it's kind of a pet name that we call each other. But, um, if you are coming out, welcome to the community. <laughs> um, or I should say welcome back, because you were already here. You just kind of hid. But, um... Yeah. So just be happy with what you're doing with your life. Just be happy with what's going on. Be happy with who you are. And everything will play out the way you want it to. And um, you should believe me when I say this right now. I know all the other people are saying this. But me especially because I'm living, breathing proof that it does get better. And... Um, if anybody ever calls you a fag, if anybody ever calls you dyke, if anybody ever calls you, like, some kind of, like, weird name that you think is offensive, just be like, okay, and your point is, or if somebody, if some chick, if some, like, black chick, not nothing against black chicks, because we have lesbian chicks that are dark, but, um, I'm not racist, <laughs> but if you have some black chick that's clapping and starting a fight up in your face and she's really close to you and you're a lesbian, <laughs> just get really close to her, make sure your noses are touching and be like, you want to kiss? <laughs> and um, Yeah, so that, that always worked for me because, you know, like, they'd just be like, ew, no! Not that they didn't want to kiss me, they were just afraid that if they said yes, that everybody would be like, oh, you're gay too. But, um, yeah. So, I'm gonna put it into this video because it's, like, been eight minutes already. But, um, yeah. So, everybody, just take a deep breath and relax. And, um, be who you are. Be who you want to be. You can be anything. You know, you could be a lesbian. Or, if you're a man, you could say you're a lesbian and be like, and everybody would just be like, you're cool. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, just be happy with yourself, and that should work. So, um, I'm gonna go because it's 1 o'clock in the morning. But, um, yeah. So, everybody just chill out. Take a chill pill. If those even exist. I wish they did. But, yeah. Um, love you. Even though I don't know you. Maybe. I don't know. Because this is gonna go up on my page, too. So, um, it's been 9 minutes. I'm gonna go. I keep on dragging this out. Bye. Ooh, okay, by the stop button.